As a kid in the 1960s, I purchased comic books, not only for the superheroes, but for the hundreds of fascinating ads on the back pages. Ads promised marvelous things too good to be true. A packet of sea monkey eggs, x-ray glasses, a vial of smart pills, a book to make you rich, a bag of genuine imitation gold-toned Spanish doubloons. Nothing tempted me until I saw an ad showing the famous Mangolfier balloon flown over the Paris rooftops in 1783. Beneath the balloon, a gondola, like a huge Easter basket with yellow trim and red swags, held its inventors, the two Mangolfier brothers. I hoped the figures of the brothers and the gondola would be included in the working model. It was described not as a toy, but as a scientific item based on the lighter-than-air principle. I would stage an event to proudly show my magnificent balloon to friends and family. It would be mine for $2.35 a fortune that required many weeks of saving my allowance. I had never ordered by mail. In those days it could take a month to process package and receive an item. Every day for two weeks I waited on my porch for the postman to deliver my balloon. Finally, an average-sized envelope arrived. It was stuffed with a finger's thickness of what I guessed were the many pages of detailed instructions needed for assembly. Accepting that my balloon was soon to follow, I tore open the envelope to study the instructions. And what were they? A mimeographed half page with four numbered lines in pale blue ink. Number one, shake out balloon to full dimensions. 2. Open end and walk in a circle to inflate with air. 3. Hold open end over a heat source to replace normal air with hot air. 4. Tie balloon's end with string. Not included. My hands shook. I did not understand. Beneath the instruction page was my balloon a common dry cleaner's bag intended to cover an average-sized coat. Printed on the bag, black letters spelled danger of suffocation. At that moment, I knew I'd been cheated. There would be no package to follow. There would be no magnificent balloon, no gondola, no Mongolfier brothers, only the flimsy plastic see-through dry cleaner's bag that wasn't worth two cents. I wanted to rip apart the bogus balloon and have a cry, but instead I built a small fire in my backyard. As promised, the dry cleaner's bag filled with hot air and floated up a bit. I imagined the Montgolfier brothers waving to me as they rose to the clouds. But that image didn't last. The bag got stuck in a tree branch and deflated. For the next many months, the fluttering plastic deteriorated, shred by shred, a painful reminder of all the wonderful things I could have bought for $2.35. Fortunes are still being made off gullible children. And the market for gullible adults is even more lucrative. As an adult, suspect products still fascinate me. Air plants that don't require watering, bottles of hair tonic that promise overnight follicle growth, cans of lucky money spray. Why not cash in with my own line? Easy Pants let it all hang out with easy pants. Slips on and off in a breeze. Easy pants takes baggy to a new level. Survival barrel. Soundproof, waterproof, seaworthy. Choose pine or walnut. Room for two. 
survive in comfort. P-funnel. For men who miss, specify pocket-sized or extra-large. Mood undies. Hot, hot, hot. Check the color on the elastic band to determine your sweetheart's intentions. Buy two for mood alignment. Mirrored selfie stick. No need for batteries, no camera, just a mirror, a stick, and the wonderful you. Now what little lesson might we learn from my personal cautionary tale? It's this. Don't buy it till you try it.